How's it going, everyone? I'm Sam Cody, welcome back to my channel. I do shoe reviews and vlogs, so if you're into that, please hit subscribe and stick around for more. I'm here at my town's track, and I'm gonna be running a mile in the Onitsuka Tiger Mexico 66. So the Onitsuka Tiger Mexico 66 is a running shoe that was developed in the 1960s, uh, so it is very much lacking in modern technology. For example, here are my normal running shoes, a pair of Hoka's. Just look at the difference in terms of sole thickness and just overall structure. Needless to say, running shoes have changed a lot over the decades. On one of my previous videos, I received this comment, which I found really interesting, uh, and wondered what it would be like to actually run in a pair of Mexico 66s. I'm gonna have to pay extra special attention to my form to make sure I don't hurt myself. Today is actually a long run day for me, so I'll be doing like eight miles after this or something. So I gotta be extra careful, but that's the plan. Let's just cut to the chase. Okay, so just finished up the mile. I was really pleasantly surprised with these. I, I was going in with the thought that I was gonna be aching after a mile running in these, but they were really fine. They felt a lot like racing flats. Of course, there's the new technology that goes into the new ones, different materials that are more comfortable and will last longer for you, but these gave me a very similar experience, and I was very surprised by that. That said, they are made of leather and suede and rubber so they're not the most breathable or practical racing shoes bottom line they weren't far off from modern racing flats and that surprised me a lot you know after wearing these as lifestyle shoes for like three or four years and then running in them now i mean they did pretty well <laughs> for all the runners out there i wouldn't really recommend that you buy these four running shoes. You should probably get some up-to-date flats. That, that'll that be the best for your sort of leg health and your running form in general. Uh, I'm no expert, but uh, there's a reason the design has changed since these. I wouldn't recommend them for any sort of long distances. I don't think that would be good for your running health, but I thought this would be an interesting experiment just to see how they perform. I could, I could see minimalist runners maybe using this. It does feel like it has a bit of a wider footbed than a lot of the um, flats that I've worn. So that that is, I guess, <laughs> a plus for it. But yeah, it really surprised me and it just goes to show how sometimes simple can be enough. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it sort of entertaining seeing me trying out these retro running shoes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you a little insight into what it might have been like uh, as a runner back in the day. So once again, I'm Sam Cody. I do shoe reviews, uh, videos like this, and vlog style content. So if you're into that, please subscribe. There's a big red button somewhere down there that's super fun to press. I think you should press it. Check me out on my other social media. I do a lot of photography and other fun stuff over there, so I think you might enjoy that. But until next time, peace.